Hey Bobbers, um, we're gonna talk about something that is, uh, usually different for me, but I kind of want to talk about this because a lot of other people are talking about this, and it's kind of becoming, I think it's kind of becoming a big thing. So what I'm going to be talking about today is Article 13. <laughs> So people are saying, what is Article 13? Why is it important to me? Why am I talking about this? Well, Article 13 is a law that is going to be passed in the EU. If you know what the EU is, the European nation. I don't know the exact country in the European nation, but it's a pretty big deal of Europe, all right? It's a big deal. This is a big deal. A certain part of Article 13 that's going to be passed, or could be, be, could be passed, which essentially, I think, changes the rule in the copyright law. Well, it does change the rule in the copyright law, but the way it works. Is that you know how whenever you have a copyright strike on YouTube, you you're notified you're responsible for that copyright. Well, that's not going to be the case anymore as YouTube itself is going to be uh, you know responsible for that. And you know YouTube doesn't control us uploading videos, so you're going to be saying how will YouTube control all the people uploading videos because they're going to be they're going to be a lot of lawsuits then for uh, YouTube. Because this Copyright Act is, you know, passed Article 13 in the EU specifically. Uh, YouTube, YouTube's gonna have a lot of cop lawsuits because that's gonna be, because I should say, um, to understand this, I'm gonna show you an example of how severe this is. I'm just gonna show you a copyright clip and I'm, I'm just gonna show you one. So here's an example of a copyright clip. Say what? Now you notice that was only two to three seconds long, if I chose the right clip. <laughs> that is not allowed if Article 13 is passed. And there's no seven second clip, that, that's gone. There's no three strikes and you're out. It's one strike, any amount of time of a copyright clip in your channel, or either that video is blocked, or your channel's gonna be terminated then. Because what YouTube would have to do then, is that they would have to do that in order to prevent lawsuits from happening. That's why Article 13 is so dire to the EU. Now, I'm an American. I live in the United States of America, USA. This doesn't affect me, but it could. Let's just say my viewers I have are from anywhere in the EU. They will not be able to see my videos because if I have copyright content in it, like that two sec, two to three second clip that I showed you, they cannot see this video at all. It's going to say you're going to be blocked in this country, blocked in the country. I don't think I will be affected by this. I don't think my channel will be terminated. Which that's kind of scary about, because I don't want it to be terminated. Either of my channels, actually. Because I, I swear there are copyright content in either of those channels. And, uh, <clears throat> if that happens, all, you know, all, a lot of YouTube from the EU will be gone. Except for big companies. I don't think big companies will be affected by this a lot. So, because they're a company, you can, they can protect their stuff, they have a chance. But if you're a single independent YouTuber who makes content in the EU, basically, their income from YouTube, they make money from YouTube, they monetize their stuff, they monetize it. You will be terminated if you have copyrighted content. If you're like a film reviewer who has content of the movie that you're reviewing, <clears throat> or, you know, um... You, you talk about movies, stuff like that. <clears throat> you will not be around on YouTube anymore. Because if, if YouTube does this, it's all kind of like, do it's domino effects, basically. Um, there's a video that I watched that kind of inspired me to do this type of video. Which I'll leave a link down below for his content. Because it's actually, <laughs> subscribe to, subscribe to things so much better than do I can. Because, uh, I have a saying, don't get into politics you don't know about. I don't know about this, so I'm just spitball here basing off what he said basing off what other people say in the comment section of his video other people are saying so i don't know about this. i don't live in the eu i don't know about the politics if this was on television i probably would know about it but i don't know about it really not a lot of people know about it so that's why a lot of people are kind of addressing this because it is a severe problem that no one knows about because no one's informed about this so i'm asking you the viewers go check out his video in the description down below to check out his content because his content of the series I watched is way more detailed because he lives there, so he knows a lot more, and it's the impacts of it. So go check him out, but, but don't do that yet. Watch the rest of this video. So 
like I said, like the impact is just so severe. Even if you live anywhere else in the world, it will affect you. Because your viewerships, your views, will go down. Your subscribers, who knows what will happen to them. They're, they're not going to be able to watch our content in America. Like, for example, let's just say Drama Alert. They, they have, he has copyright content of images, uh, photos, uh, videos. You know, that's copyright content. This does affect images as well. Don't think you just do images. No, that's copyright content. That'll be... That'll end your channel. But let's say Drama Alert. He lives in America. All of his viewers who, let's say, are from the EU, they're not going to be able to see it. So his views will drop. A lot of YouTubers, because YouTube's broken, views are down. They'll even be more down if this happens. So that's kind of the impact. My views, I've been... I always believe that I get more views than I should have. But... You know, because I look at my computer, I get views, but I look at my iPod, there's no views on the video. I'm like, what the hell's happening? So if that happens, who knows? That number will decrease. The very low number that I have on this channel, these, even big YouTubers, I can only imagine, like, does, I don't know about the EU, I don't know what, what countries are in the EU. I know, it kind of seems stupid, I shouldn't know this, but, I don't know if, like, let's say PewDiePie, for example, will, will be terminated, I don't know. Because he... He, he is he is big, but it does not matter whether you have like a hundred subscribers or a million subscribers. Everyone's affected by this if you have con copyright content, which is scary. This is, this could change YouTube forever. Now my question is, who in their right mind would do this? Who this can't it's such a thing that's beyond the comprehension of who would do this? Who is a law to do this? This isn't fair. It's not it's not like who who do this? Well, I, there's an answer to who would do this and why this all started up. Uh, the music industry is, the, is one of the main problems. It's not, it's not the problem, it's one of the main problems. The music in industry, a lot of uh, artists, they don't like their music on YouTube because they don't get money for them. Let's say on Spotify, they get money. So, which more people are going to go on YouTube because it's more bigger than Spotify, I believe. So more people will see videos of independent people creating content or just uploading videos of their music which is we can get free music, free music all we want so they want to stop that they can get more money so if this happens good job artists music artists you will no longer have to worry about youtube you know copyright content on youtube anymore you get extra money but uh, with that a lot of channels are going to be terminated a lot of things are going to be changing if this happens, because it's not done yet, January is when they're actually going to vote. So, all of YouTube itself will be changed forever. Not just you. This is all social media. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, the TikTok, sure, why not? That new thing. If you have copyright content on any of those platforms, if you live in the EU, it's, it's just going to be banned. You can't do it. You can't upload stuff then. This doesn't affect YouTube at all. It affects YouTube a lot, because that's all videos, but... This affects every single social media platform in the earth that will ever be created if this law is passed. Now I keep saying if this law is passed, because if if it is, this will be this will be doom day for the social media. So that's my ideas on that. Just spreading the word. Um, you can look it up for yourself. I know I didn't explain it that well. I know I should have, but like I said, I don't get into politics I don't know about. So. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be all. So if you like this content, like the different style of video, I mean, it's still, there's Minecraft in the background, so it's technically counts as a Minecraft video, sure. But, uh, I'm gonna go now, so, you know, if you want to support this channel, then why don't you hit that subscribe button and like the video. And I'll see y'all later, everyone. Bye. Uh, yeah, I confess, father, I